get together back when I was just a lad. We'd finish milking early, and then we'd all dress in the best we had. After Mama fried the chicken, and we combed and brushed her hair. We'd load up in that truck, and off to Granny's house we would tear. Over at Granny's place, there wasn't no room for me to stand, cause the folks were laughing loud, slapping bags and shaking hands. So I'd slip off with my cousins till it's time to say the grace. When Uncle I could say that blessing, those children would take our place. We sat at the second table eating chicken necks and wings. A leftover dab of gravy and the fat back from the beans. Fresh peach cobbler without peaches melted ice cream from the churn. Wasn't very much to choose from once them grown ups had their turn. About the good things they had to eat. How their plates all needed sideboards, cause the food is piles so high. I'd have give fifty dollars for a gizzard or thigh. We sat at the second table eating chicken necks and wings. A leftover dab of gravy and the fat back from the beans. Fresh peach cobbler without peaches and melted ice cream from the churn. Wasn't very much to choose from once them grown ups had their turn. Wasn't very much to choose from once them grown ups had their turn. in front of a hundred thousand dollar home. Said he sent me an envelope and it'll be here any day. And I might win ten million dollars. I better not throw the thing away. Why, I bet he sent one of them things to everybody in the nation. You know, just to fit it out, you need a college education. The way things are the shape I'm in, I ain't got nothing to lose. At least this way I got a shot at something I could sure use. Well, it looks like this year's gonna go down as the year I lost it all. The finance company's got my car and the bank gets a house this fall. I'm out of luck, come on, food stacks my back's against the wall. I'm sitting here eating cabbage waiting on Ed McMahon to call. Well, I thought about it a lot. I got the seeing dollar sign. And all the great things I could do if that 10 million was mine. Sitting here filling it out has been a world of fun. According to Ed and Dick Clark, I may have already won. My tongue got a sore on it from licking stamps, but I finally got it down. And I'm gonna load it in the pickup truck and carry it to the post office in town. I can only hope and say a prayer that it's worth the time I took. You reckon Ed and them will throw it in the trash if I didn't order none of them books. Looks like this year's gonna go down this year I lost it all. The finance company's got my car and the bank gets the house this fall. I'm out of work, I'm on food steps, my back's against the wall. I'm down to eating little friskies waiting on Ed to call. Slopped the hogs, so I went to the house and I fed the dog And I went inside to relax and watch TV I was flipping through the channels and hoping to catch an old western movie or wrestling match But all I could get was the news on NBC So I 
I picked up the paper and I seen this ad and it went on and on how the latest fad could satisfy my ever dreaming wish. It had a toll free number that a man could call. Two week trial and no charge at all. I could watch TV on my very own satellite dish. Well, a truck pulled up the very next morning. Looked like it had a flying saucer on it. From the sign on the door, I could see it was Satellite Joe. He pulled out a compass, looked north and south, and he run a bunch of cables up into the house. By the end of the day, she was wired and ready to go. Well, I was mighty proud of my newfound toy, so I got on the phone, called Virgil and Roy, and said, come on over here and bring some tater chips. Yeah, sweetie just left to go play cars, and I got me a satellite dish in the yard. We got all night to watch these movie clips. The first button I hit said Galaxy One. I could tell this is gonna be a lot of fun. There were 24 channels on that one satellite alone. There was Showtime, Cinemax, and HBO. I saw a cartoon movie in the rodeo. We couldn't get over what all was going on. Satellite, satellite, I watch it all day and I watch it all night. If it's a football game, a movie, or the fights, I can get the world on my satellite. Across the sky, and I locked her down on West Star 5. And there said the man with the beard and the funny hat. The name of the show was The Doctor's Inn. He's talking about religion, politics, and sin, but I think he's wanting money and things like that. Well, he's looking for gun smoke with Chester and Matter, the honeymooners with Norton and Ralph, when somehow we wound up on Tell Star 3. And Lord, there they was, like peas in the pod, five or six people in the great big wad, and they're doing things you just don't see on regular TV. Well, these people running around in the birthday suits, and one of them gals was pretty cute. It beat anything I'd ever seen before. I said, boys, let's move this thing over a notch. This right here ain't fit to watch. And about that time, I heard somebody coming in the door. It was Sweetie that had just walked in, and she was madder than an old wet hen when she saw what we was watching on our TV. Well, she reached in the closet and pulled out a bat and the boys hit the door like two scaly cats and I'm ashamed to tell you what she done to me. Satellite, satellite, I watch it all day and I watch it all night. If it's a football game, a movie or the fights, so I can get the world on my satellite. You say that I don't love you, you say my love's untrue. Well, darling, if I was a rich man, I'd prove my love to you. I'd buy you a diamond ring and a new fur coat or two. If my nose are running money, honey, I'd blow it all on you. If my nose are running money, I'd blow it all on you. I'd buy you a Cadillac and a new Mercedes too. I'd build you that mansion up on the mountain top. If my nose running money, but honey, it's not. I'd buy you a John Deere tractor and we'd get rid of that old gray mule. I'd carry you down to the store and buy you a brand new pair of shoes. You'd not have to be plying barefooted the way you always do. If my nose was running money, we could have anything we please. First time you want any cash, all I'd have to do is sneeze. Why, we'd be living high on the hog and the hog wouldn't be so lean. If my nose was running money, honey, we'd be rolling in the green. It's a bigger of a problem that I got. I wish my nose was running money, but it's not. I'd buy you a Cadillac and a new Mercedes too. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. If my nose was running money, honey, I'd blow it all on you. Since 
Us all our friends has got one. My wife is a want one too. A fur coat and there ain't nothing else gonna do. Said she looked real classy, make me proud of her. If I'd run down to the store and buy her a fur. Well, she put me to thinking how that I was gonna swing it kind of deal. She knows we can't afford nothing like that, and I'm too afraid to steal. But the problem finally solved itself like a bolt out of the blue. It just jumped right out in front of me on Highway 22. That big old German Shepherd, my car, he didn't see. He went to dog heaven, left his hide there for me. For six weeks in the basement, I worked on it every night. It was trial and error, but I finally got it right. I put it in a Captain Crunch box, carried it upstairs to her. She French kissed me when she seen her fur. Now she's got that fuzzy fur coat, reaches all the way down to her knees. She been complaining lately, said her clothes is plumb full of fleas. She don't know Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's putting on the dog and she goes out at night. Yeah, she don't know Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's really putting on the dog and she goes out at night. She's been real depressed since I backed out over the cat. I believe she's gonna smile real big when I show her that new fur hat. Well, I was born into the world of pick and grin. I married a woman that was born to shop and spend. Lord help, that woman loves to shop. She's a bargain hunter through and through. I've seen her spend fifty dollars of trying to save two. Lord have mercy, my woman was born to shop. Born to shop, born to shop. When it comes to spending money, she can't stop. If you'd like to know what I'm a talking about, just drive her to the mall and turn her out. Boys, there ain't no doubt, sweetie was born to shop. Choosing her favorite scene to be hard between Visa Discover and MasterCard. She got a handful of plastic she gets out of the truck. I know she don't mean no harm. She don't quit shopping, we're gonna lose a farm. It beats all I've ever seen. And sweetie was born to shop. Born to shop. Born to shop. When it comes to spending money, she can't stop. She got three closets full of nothing to wear and can't do a thing with her old hair. I'll let class, sweetie was born to shop. Then one day things took a turn for the worse. A thief stole her purse, took her credit cards, and headed for Tim Buck too. She said, my call the law. I said, no, ain't no way he'll ever spend as much as you. Born to shop, born to shop. When it comes to spending money, she can't stop. They say old shoppers never die. They have that Walmart up in the sky. They ain't no stopping her, sweetie, but born to shop. No, Over there in Gleason, Tennessee, where I was born and raised, I used to take a moonlight stroll in the pasture where the milk cows graze. One night there she was, sitting up on the fence. I grinned at it and she grinned back. I could tell she had some sense. Said, I'm real pleased to meet you, ma'am. You look like a diamond in the rough. She said, shut up your fancy talk and give me a pinch of that snuff. Well, I'm going to have to admit it now, just a little bit surprised. When I handed her that box of snuff, it was love in that woman's eyes. Snuff dipper, snuff dipper, the story of my life. Snuff dipper, snuff dipper, but she'd make me a wonderful wife. So I caught that gal in the tater patch, and caught her in the sorghum cane, kissed her in the sunshine, even kissed her out in the rain. First time I kissed him, snuff stained a little fruit was sitting on the holler log. She had breath on her that was stifle a Hampshire hog. I said, Woo, what a fucker. You really know your stuff. 
She said, you didn't want no kiss at all. You just stole my paint of snuff. Snuff dipper, snuff dipper, the story of my life. Snuff dipper, snuff dipper, but she make me a wonderful wife. Then one night when the time was right, I said, sweetie, we ought to get wise. Took a dip just cheap as one wish to get that giant economy size. So we went to the preacher's house. I said, preacher, we'd like to get wet. He tied the knot and said, like her or not, she's yours for your plum dead. I said, well, here, let me pay you some. Reckon a dollar would be enough. He said, no, just keep your money, boy. And give me a dip of that stuff. Well, I got me a level-headed woman now. She's the sweetest thing in the South. Reason I know she's level-headed, I seen it running out of both sides of her little mouth. Snuff dipper, snuff dipper, the story of my life. You know, we sure are lucky to be living in the world today. Why, with all this modern technology, we've come a long way. Even in the kitchen, there's been so many changes. The women's went to using them microwave ovens instead of electric ranges. Now I know progress must go on, even with the things we eat. Yes, science is trying to improve upon the selection of our meat. But some things can't be improved on in distress at this point, my friends. Let us dwell for just a moment on that Dominacker hen. I stopped off down to the grocery store, it was just the other day. I was told to pick a few things up and then be on my way. So I walked in through them electric doors and grabbed the shopping cart. Booked out Sweetie's grocery list and it took off like a dart. I don't usually do our shopping, this was new to me. But I'm making some serious progress, boys, already on aisle three. Chicken was the last thing on my list to get and sold. I headed for the poultry section just as hard as I could go. When I got there, I stopped that cart and stood there for a while. Amazed at all the chicken parts that were stacked up on the aisle. Used to buying an old hen wasn't this hard. They done rent that thing that used to scratch around in the yard. Look what they done to the Dominic chicken. It's boneless now, skinless too, no longer finger licking. They got chicken tetrazzini and chicken cordon blue. Chicken teriyaki, these are just to name a few. No chicken is a common thing now. Just to prove my point, on my right near every corner they open up a brand new chicken joint. There's Bojangles, Colonel Sanders, and least famous recipe. Gizzards, guts, and livers strode out as far as you can see. They're cashing in on the Dominacker, I know that for a fact. I've noticed the folks living up north trying to get in on the act. The Dominacker hen has been disgraced in perhaps the lowest blow. Is when the Yankees proclaim her little wings. Come from a buffalo. Look what they've done to the Dominic chicken. It's boneless now, skinless too, no longer finger licking. They got chicken franks, chicken planks, and fingers, that's absurd. If a Dominic had a finger, she'd shoot us all a bird. a throwdown right there in his home. You know he'd have pulled it all off except for one small thing. Neighborhood watch picked up that phone and gave his wife a ring. Neighborhood watch 
has got its eye on you. They're taking names and making notes on everything you do. Their eyes are rolling, son, they'll never miss a clue. Neighborhood Watch has got its eye on you. I stayed out till four in the morning playing poker with the boys. I was gonna try to slip in the house and not make any noise. Turned the lights out on the truck when I pulled up into the drive and tiptoed through the back screen door when much to my surprise. Claw hammer hit me right in the head and knocked me to my knees. When the kitchen lights come on, sweetie was standing up straddling me. She said, where in the cat hire have you been? Neighborhood watchers called, said some goon was a breaking in. Neighborhood watch has got its eye on you. They're taking names and making notes on everything you do. Their eyes are open and they'll never miss a clue. Neighborhood watch has got its eye on you. Neighborhood watch has got its eye on you. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse The stockings were hung by the chimney with care In hopes that old St. Nicholas would soon be there The children, they was wallowing around in their beds They had visions of four-wheelers running through the heads Sweetie was in her kerchief and I was laying there in my cap We was trying to settle down there for it took ourselves a nap. When out there in the yard there rose such a clatter, I jumped out of the bed to see what was the matter. I headed for the window as hard as I could go. I tripped over the coffee table and broke my big toe. The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, such a lively little straggler, <laughs> I thought there for a minute it might be Porter Wagner. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his coursers, they came and he screamed and hollered and called them some names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, get off a of Donner, Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, Get out of that man's shrubs or I'm gonna shoot you all. And then in twinkling I heard up there on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. And as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Santa Claus come with a bound. He was dressed in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes was covered up with ashes and soot. He had a bundle of toys flung over his back I could tell where he got them, I seen Walmart on the sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks is like roses and his nose like a cherry. His little old mouth had drawn up like a bowl. Looked like he'd been eating green persimmons for a week or so. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth. Folks, he had breath on him, it'd bring a monkey to his knees. <laughs> He had a broad face and a big round belly. Looked like he'd been eating a lot of souse meat down at the North Pole Deli. Why, he was fat as a hog. A right jolly old elf. And I laughed out loud in spite of myself. And with a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, he said, I ain't got nothing for you, son, so get on back in the bed. He spoke not another word but went straight to his work and he filled up the stockings and turned with a jerk. Then he stuck his finger up inside of his nose. He pulled it right back out and wiped it on his clothes. <laughs> he sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle and he blowed out his false teeth and they lit right there on the icicle. You know, I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. 
pull over here, Rudolph. I need some poly grip and everything will be all right. 